गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस यस्टरडे वी स्टार्टेड वी डिड द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पोएम मिस्ड इट्स द यूनिट सेकेंड सेक्शन ए पोएम मिस्ड बाय पी जी वोड हाउस सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द समरी एंड रैनिंग स्कीम एंड अबाउट द ऑथर सो लेट्स बिगिन नाउ दिस ऑल ऑफ दिस यू हैव टू राइट इट इन योर notebooks also okay p g woodhouse was born in 1881 in england he was an english born comic novelist short story writer lyricist and a playwright playwright is written like this okay look at the spellings pay attention best known as the creator of jeeves the supreme gentleman's gentleman so jeeves was one of the uh, the character which he created he wrote more than 90 books and more than 20 film scripts and collaborated on more than 30 plays and musical comedies so that's about p g wodhouse now summary of the poem The poem Mist is a hilarious poem. It's a funny poem. It's an it's a hilarious poem in which the poet P. G. Woodhouse has described an incident of his life where he was playing cricket with his friends in the stadium on one fine sunny day. Then he missed the perfect catch and he felt very horrible about it. Therefore. he decided never to play cricket ever again so that's what, that's the poem uh, gist of the poem that what uh, what is it all about in the poem the poet starts the poem by describing the general weather of the day it was a summer season and the day was bright and sunny so they all went out to play cricket the poet's team was bowling and the poet himself was fielding near the boundary he started admiring the brightness and pleasantness of the day his attention was diverted by the weather and the humming bee and he started thinking about his friend clara who was the most beautiful girl he had ever met then at that very moment the batsman threw him a possible catch and he missed the catch that's what the incident happens that's where we get the title of the poem miss that the poet miss the perfect catch the easiest catch the bowler the spectators even the batsman was expecting a perfect catch from the poet they were very enthusiastic enthusiastic about it but when he missed the catch they all were very disappointed however the however the support uh, supporters of opponent team shouted happily the poet felt that he would never feel such great pain which he felt at that time even if he lived for million years he pulled his hair in irritation for his carelessness when he realized his mistake he started pulling his hair in irritation in agitation in aggression frustration but now nothing could be done he had to live with the pain and the guilt so he decided to leave the cricket altogether and play golf now onwards as he thinks that all the happiness and the pleasures had left his life after missing that perfect catch okay so that is the summary of the poem missed now let's do the paraphrases now paraphrases are the the summary uh, the the explanation of the stanzas now the, uh, the first stanza is let's look at the first stanza i although i explained in my previous vid uh, videos also the explanation we had already done but uh, for your better understanding i uh, i will give you the written explanation also the sun in the heavens was beaming the breeze bore an odor of hay my flannels flannels was spotless and gleaming my heart was unclouded and gay 
the ladies all gaily apparelled sat round looking on at the match in the tree tops dicky birds carolled all was peace till i bungled that catch now what is the paraphrase of this stanza in this stanza the poet describes the general atmosphere of the ground he tells that it was a bright sunny day everyone wanted to be outside so they pro- uh, they started playing cricket he was wearing his clean and shining trousers ladies in the spectator stands were also well dressed everyone was enjoying the match everything was perfect till he missed the easiest catch so that's the paraphrase of stanza 1 now stanza 2 my attention the magic of summer had lured from the game which was wrong but the bee the bee that inveterate hummer was droning its favorite song i was tenderly dreaming of clara on her not a girl is a patch when ah horror there soared through the air a decidedly possible catch so what's the paraphrase of this this stanza in this stanza the poet describes why and how he missed the catch he said that the magic of the summer disturbed his attention and the consistent buzz- buzzing of the bee brought the memory of clara to him now who was clara the most beautiful girl he started thinking about the most beautiful girl clara and so therefore he missed the catch his attention was diverted he started thinking about clara and his di- attention uh, got disturbed from the match and that's how he missed the catch he accepted that it was wrong on his part to divert his concentration away from the cat match but now nothing could be done he had already bungled that catch he had already missed that possible catch right so that's the uh, that is the paraphrase of second stanza two you can see it in here clearly and you you must write it down in your notebooks okay now stanza 3 I heard in a stupor the bowler emit a self satisfied ah the small boys who sat on the roller set up an expectant hurrah the batsman with grief from the wicket himself had begun to detach and i uttered a groan and turned sick it was over i had buttered the catch now let's look at the paraphrase of third stanza everyone was expecting him to catch the ball as it was the easy one it was the most easiest catch ever but unfortunately but change the spelling of but unfortunately he missed the catch the bowler the batsman even the audience were expecting a catch the batsman himself started moving away from the pitch he started going away from the pitch because he was expecting he was very very grief stricken he was sorry that he had given a catch a so easy catch to the fielder but when he missed it everyone was heartbroken and highly disappointed he himself was highly disappointed so that's the paraphrase for third stanza for today we will do up to this now all this all the paragraph paraphrases and the summary you have to write in your notebooks also okay thank you very much have a nice day